G'day mates. This device here is causing quite a stir in the industry. It is the UL Breathcare 3. And you can understand why, hey, I mean, she's a good looking unit and it looks very, very similar to another good looking CPAP, the ResMed 11 series. And a few little birdies been whispering in my ear and they're saying that during ResMed internal meetings, this device, they're talking about it a lot. They're a little bit worried because, hey, it looks just as good, if not better, it's about half the price. So I thought today we'd take it apart because obviously quite easy to just whack a big touch screen on a device and say, hey, check it out. But what's happening under the covers, under the hood? What's the engine look like? What's the manufacturing look like? In the past, mm, the devices coming out of China haven't been too crash hot. They're chock a block full of foam and the manufacturing is a bit shit, but this might be about to change. And I think that's why ResMed might be a little bit nervous. And I've also got a few blowers here that you can take a look at. This one here belongs to the Prisoner Smart, the Stormtrooper, it's made in Germany. This one here is a Swiss made hand balanced micro nail blower, essentially a ventilator blower. This goes in DAR for Prisma 20A, Prisma Line Series. Here's an AirSense 10 blower. And this one here, a little toy is the AirSense 11 blower, and it's also the Air Mini blower. They use the same blower in both devices. All right, let's take it apart. See what's inside. Now, this company here, I've been digging around a little bit because it seemed like they popped out of nowhere. All of a sudden they were all over my LinkedIn feed and, and they're attending all the fairs all around the world. Um, they've been around for like 30 years or around that time. So they're quite big over in China. Now, when I first got this device, I reached out to one of their reps. He was an Indian rep and the price was like 200 US dollars wholesale. Now I've been chatting with my mates over in Canada and they said the wholesale price over in Canada is $500. I imagine that's Canadian dollars. All right. And the retail is probably gonna be around, it's about $1,000 here in Australia. That's what they're going for. And in Canada, I think I've seen them for around the $1,200, $1,000 to $1,200 mark. So certainly at the lower end of the price range when it comes to CPAP gear, However, it's looking pretty good. Oh, so that's the main PCB there. Now this touchscreen here, I'll briefly mention this. When I first got my device, I noticed that the actual screen, see how the screen here is here. On the images, on their website and so on, that screen actually goes like much wider. And I think you can buy this device with two different screen sizes. Like they've done a very clever thing here where they've made like this panel here look like it's the whole screen, but it's only this section here, you can see it. So I think there's actually two different screen sizes that you can get. And I think most people will probably end up with what I have, which is the smaller, of the two. So completely different to the AirSense 11 internally. Like this is a completely different device. So there you have, oh, what have I done here? Now this screen is awesome. It's super responsive. It feels almost like you're using an iPhone, all right? So the actual screen, the colors, the brightness, really, really cool. 
And I think other companies will likely follow suit. Now I'm not sure if I can take this apart. I might have made it not to, oh yeah it does, here we go. Cut it. Da 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 da. Oh, very interesting. It goes like that. Ah, okay. This is the blower compartment here. And I'll just take this off here. So this is the sound abatement foam. And CPAP manufacturers use this foam to reduce machine noise so that they're quieter, easier to sleep with. They pack it in around the blower. It's also in the device here to kind of like soak up that noise, stop the vibrations and so on. However, it was recently the cause of the biggest medical device recall in history, the Philips CPAP recall. And what happened was this foam here was breaking down. And because it's like packed in there, in the air pathway, it was getting sucked into the blower, whoo, shot out through the tube, down into patients' lungs. And then once that foam is down there embedded in your lungs, not good. All right, now I can't imagine any other CPAP manufacturer making the same mistake. And I think in the near future, what we're gonna see is that foam is gonna be gone. I'm already seeing it. I've just got a CFAM near device, no foam in that device. All right, so I think that's gonna be a trend in the coming years. However, right now, it certainly is still a topic of discussion. And you can see here, inside the casing, there is a hell of a lot of foam. I don't know what foam it is, guys, unfortunately, um, but I can find out. It's really well put together. Really well put together. Okay. Here is the blower. It's a fan. That's what CPAP therapy is. That's what BiPAP therapy is. That's what ASV therapy is. That's what ventilation is. It is this, my friends. It is a fan. And then you have some cool software to monitor your physiological signals and then adjust the fan speed. That's what it is when you break it down. All right. Here's the German-made Prisma Smart Blower, UL Breathcare 3, Prisma Line. This is the Micronel Swiss-made blower. Very, very cool. AirSense 10. And the AirSense 11. So there you go guys, it is Saturday here in Australia. I'm gonna go play with my kids. Have yourselves a great day, cheers.